Hey everyone and welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. We have a finish. Yes. So excited I actually was able to finish a diamond painting. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, Breaking Dawn Indian War Horse by Marsha Baldwin and this is offered by Craftably. Of course, you know, Craftably is one of my favorite companies. I am an affiliate with Craftably, full disclosure. If you use my code, uh, I will make a small commission. Okay, so let's get into this kit. Um, I just want to preface this video with I am using my cell phone today to take this video and hopefully it works out. Um, yeah, I'm having some problems with my, with my uh, laptop. So, okay, so I purchased this kit in October of 2020 uh, for $39.99. That did not include shipping. Uh, this kit uh, is a 60 by 40 centimeter. It has 40 colors and no ABs. I started this kit on April the 3rd and finished it on April the 26th. So that's pretty good for me. That's three weeks. Um, I really, you know, I'm going to be really frank with you. I busted ass to get this done because there are two other events that I need to work on uh, in May. So um, absolutely love this kit. Now we're going to go over the pros and we're going to go over the cons. Uh, the pros of this kit are one, I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. Look at all the colors. So gorgeous. Um, it is a smaller kit. It is not a massive, large diamond painting. So this was, you know, a good size for me to work on. Um, the canvas was very sticky. Didn't have any issues with, um, popping drills or anything like that. And like I said, this is a round kit. And I know a lot of people don't know this, um, that are new to diamond painting, but round drills, they can pop, believe it or not. Um, so I didn't have any issue with that. Uh, the drills for the most part were excellent quality and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, yeah, so uh, just th those are the pros, very sticky. Majority of the drills were great. The image is, is very, very pretty, very colorful. Um, I enjoyed working on this. Now I will say a lot of confetti in this one, a whole lot of confetti. And there needs to be a lot of confetti in this one because it needs to show the detail and also just to, you know, just make the image pop. Um, so I did get a little frustrated with confetti because I'm not a confetti person, but I got through it and I still enjoyed the kit. I worked on it every night for three weeks. Um, it was great. And this kit I finished for Jeremy, JTMJ Crafts, for his Giddy Up uh, event that's going on in April and May. Um, so if you haven't checked out that event, I'll have Jeremy's uh, link, YouTube link down below. Um, and you can check out uh, his info about that event. Really cool event. He's given away some periodic prizes and everybody's working on horses and it's, it's, a lot of fun. So Jeremy, I want to thank you for hosting an awesome event and I hope you continue this on an annual basis. I will look forward to doing it next year because I have lots of horse canvases. So, okay. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the cons of this diamond painting. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, this is the trash that I had. I always have very, <clears throat> excuse me, very little trash. I'm using my phone. Sorry. Okay. I always have very little trash when I um, work up this kit. Now, if you notice, most of the trash in here are dark colored drills. And I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but I do want to let you know, before I go over the cons, I did reach out to Craftably and um, spoke to Michael and Amy. Um, I messaged them and let them know my concerns about the kit. And they were very responsive. And I'll get into their responses about... Um, the concerns that I talked to them about. Okay, so the first concern I had was um, the size. The size of this kit, it's it's okay, and you can see that it's a horse with feathers, and you know you can see it. However, it's a little pixelated, so I felt like this needs to be a larger size diamond painting. Um, so I messaged um, Craftably, and I said, you know, my first concern is the size. Um, I think it would benefit 
um, all the customers to have a larger option. So even if this was still an option, I suggested, you know, let's have another option for a larger size. Well, good news. This kit is currently available on pre-order uh, and they have increased the size from a 60 by 40 to a 80 by 60 centimeter, which equates to a 32 by 24 inch canvas, um, which is fabulous. I think that size, you will definitely see more detail in, um, in this kit. Um, now this is the original artwork, you know, compared to the canvas. I mean, you can definitely still tell what this is. I just felt it was a little pixelated for the size. So I'm super excited that they have increased the size. So you can actually go and pre-order this kit now on their site. I'll have the link down below. Uh, for $59.99 um, at the size of 60 by 80. And I'm pretty sure it comes in a round drill. Now, here's the exciting thing about this one. This new kit they're offering is going to have ABs. Oh, yes. Sparkle it up, Shug. It is going to have ABs. So that is exciting. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to pre-order that kit and see what the difference is between this kit and the new larger size kit with ABs. Okay, so that was my first concern was the size. And I talked to them about that. I'm super excited about the uh, how they're changing that. Okay, the second concern I had was the color saturation. Now, the red especially, the red is oversaturated. And I let them know that, that, you know, this is too saturated. It's too red compared to um, the original image. That's more of like a brick red. It's got more brown tones to it um, in the feathers and around the eye. Um, so if you look here, I mean, this is really bright red here and here and there. So I let them know that. And um, it craftably said that with their new manufacturer, they are hand rendering these canvases. So instead of having them computer generated, they're actually rendering them by hand. So that means the color, they're going to catch the color. Um, I'm going to get it out. I'm, I'm having a mind fart. It'll be easier to match the color when they do hand rendering than it is on a computer, you know, computer generated rendering. So I'm excited to see that. Um, so the newer kit should have a closer color uh, red to the original image. Awesome. 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 Okay. Then the third concern I had was like I showed you, um, the dark drills and I don't think, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Um, but the problem I had was it, especially in the 310, which is black and the, um, 823, which is a really dark blue, the drills were very inconsistent in size. I had really teeny tiny drills, really huge drills. Um, a lot of drills with like, uh, you could see a clear plastic ring around them. So I, that was my third concern that I messaged craftily about. And um, obviously we all know, I don't fault them for that at all because that it seems to be a overall issue right now with dark drills across the board and across a lot of diamond painting companies. Um, I don't know what's going on if they're just missing it in the quality assurance uh, portion. Um, but yeah, dark drills seem to be a nightmare right now. So um, craftably hopes that with the new manufacturer uh, that will eliminate the issue with the dark drills being inconsistent in size and having, you know, tags and, and all that kind of thing. So those were my concerns. They addressed my concerns and I'm very pleased, very pleased. Um, so like I said, I am probably going to go ahead and order the newer version of this kit to see the difference. I especially want to see where the ABs are going to go. I'm, I'm super excited about that. Um, and I think, let's see. Yes. Okay. The larger one will have, um, it says between 40 and 60 colors. So once this is a larger diamond painting, it's going to have more colors than the 40 that were in this one. So that's exciting as well. Um, yes. Yay. 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 So 
Breaking Dawn, Indian War Horse by Marsha Baldwin. How many of you have this kit? I'd really like to know. Um, and have you worked on it? What were your thoughts? Good, bad, neutral? Let me know. And how many of you would like to order the new kit on pre-order? Um, yeah, I, I know I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. Uh, like I said, just to see the difference between this one and the larger cut. So, as you know, I am a Craftily affiliate, so you can save some money on, on this diamond painting. Um, yes, I'll have that down below. So, again, I want to thank all of my... Uh, channel members for all of your support to all of you that use the buy me a coffee option. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and of course, all of your support goes back into the channel so that I can show you things like this beautiful diamond paintings that I actually finished. So again, I want to thank Michael and Amy and the Craftably team for all of your hard work and for being so responsive uh, with my concerns and always just having fabulous customer service. Um, I highly recommend them. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an affiliate. I was a huge advocate of this company before I even became affiliate. So um, they're just, they're an awesome group of people and I love them dearly. So thank you for all of your hard work craftably. All right, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, please put them down below. Keep it friendly, family friendly people, family friendly. I hope everybody has a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day and rest of your week, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye, guys.